I can't even hold these boxes up for the thumbnail. I haven't done an unboxing like this in such a long time. mail time video or like a fandom oh shoot this is over probably have dirt on my face. Hello everyone from the floor of my room. I'm Natasha and today we are doing a long-awaited fandom and bookish unboxing! Ah. Ooh, okay, we're done. we're done. I haven't done this in forever it feels. The sponsor of this video today is Squarespace.com. They are actually sponsoring our book of the month which is Save the Date. Oh where did I put that book? There it is. I don't want to get up. Here's Save the Date. Yeah, if you guys haven't read this book with us, what are you waiting for? They are an all-in-one website builder. From making your own website to marketing tools, you guys can create a beautiful website on squarespace.com. Stay tuned for a special offer in the middle of this video. I have boxes from authors. I have boxes from publishers. I have boxes from box people, you know, like the, the, the curators, the people who make those fun subscription boxes. What do I start with? first. I just got this from Bookbo. I'm so excited to open it up. I know Benita who runs Bookbo. She's awesome. I guess I will tell you more about the product once I get it out. Ooh, oh yes. Are these the new jumbo ones? Oh my gosh. Whoa, this is the jumbo one. Okay, Bookbo is the creator of these protective book sleeves. So you put your book in here and you store it. If you are going to a book signing, if you're going on vacation, it's a great way to keep your pages all intact. She sent me the big jumbo one, which has the zipper on it. I don't just use these for books. I use them for other stuff too when you're traveling. Like this is perfect for like glasses and stuff or jewelry. And we have the army one, read like a girl. And then I think we have the pillow. Ooh. I think this is like the pillow that you put around your stomach or you could put it around your neck. Actually, I don't really like that. You could put your computer on it and stuff. So I usually do all my editing and reading on my bed. This is called the Book Bow Bean. Very excited to start using this. Thanks, Vanita, for sending me these things. Let's do a box. So I got this box from Maya Hughes. She is a romance author and she sent this to me a while back, back in June. This must have a book. I I think this is like a PR package. All this stuff is gonna be linked down below if you want to get like the book bows or if you wanna get this book. Ready to meet your king, this is a postcard. Unboxing day, a chance to show off your awesome picks with Shameless King Arc. Ooh, this is a book called Shameless King. Oh my gosh, crinkle crap. You know I hate this stuff, but it's, it's, it's been a while. I haven't seen this in forever. Here we go, this is my Hughes new book. This is a Kings of the Written House novel by Maya Hughes called Shameless King. A delicious and steamy enemies with benefits romance. Declan McAvoy voted biggest flirt, highest goal scorer in Kings of the Rittenhouse prep history. Everyone's impressed, well, except one person. After a blowout in high school, McKenna Halstead and I were happy to never have to cross paths again, except life has a way of knocking you straight in the teeth, oops, with a puck when you least expect it. She hasn't just returned to my life, she crashed into it like a wrecking ball, into my college kingdom, into my class, and smack dab into the seat next to mine. My new lab partner to be exact. Okay, I'm excited to read this. I wanted to get this box for the purpose of the enemy's romance thing. You know I love it. So it looks like I have a bottle opener. This says Kings of the Rittenhouse season opener, admit one, handy dandy. Then I have some lip balm. A bath balm that's pink and cute. Oh, is this, this is like a puck. It's like a squeezy thing, but it's actually a puck. I've never seen a hockey game before. All right, and that's it. Thank you for putting the stuff on top of the crinkle crap. I have a bunch of book boxes. Okay, so I have the new Hocus Pocus box. 
book from Disney Books. This is Hocus Pocus and the all-new sequel novel. Is there, like, an actual Hocus Pocus novel, or are they just going off what the movie is, and then they made a sequel to it? More crinkle crap! Hey, but it actually matches me. Actually, I kind of match this box. <laughs> Halloween comes early. Disney's Hocus Pocus and the all-new sequel novel. In stores now, released July 10th from the 25th anniversary of the beloved Disney movie. Fans will be spellbound by a fresh retelling of the original film, followed by an all-new sequel novel. There's this. <laughs> Quinkle crap. Hate you. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, this is a good mug. This is like a big mug. It has the silhouette of the hair and the mouth. What does it say? Witch, please. Disney, I didn't think you would actually do that. It's okay. And it says Hocus Pocus, a sequel novel. Hi. <laughs> we have a t-shirt. It says witch, please on it again. Cute. This is going to be a night night shirt. We have a pin. Actually, I don't know all these characters' names. I've only seen Hocus Pocus like a few times. Oh, I love Hocus Pocus. Where's that reference from? Friendtopia. We nostalgically watch Hocus Pocus. Sick as that. Then we have another pin. Oh, there's cookies. Oh, pooper snots. When did I get this box? Because I want to eat these. When did I get this? Ah, July 24th. Okay, I can eat the cookies. I should really know these characters' names. Jared Jessica Parker, the other one, and then where's Bette Midler? Aha, here's Bette Midler. And then we have the book! It doesn't have a jacket, it's just like on it. And then on this side, there's new witches on here. So there's part one in the front, which is the retelling of the movie, and then you hit part two, which is the seat. This is already out if you guys want to get it. I kind of want to eat one of the cookies. It's not soft. So a little bit more about Squarespace, who is a sponsor of this video. If you guys ever want to make your own website, you can head to squarespace.com slash Natasha Polis and get 10% off of your first website and domain. Squarespace is an all-in-one website builder designer. You can buy your domain there, create your website. Super easy, super simple. I have made a slew of websites. I've used a lot of website builders. I've bought themes. I've bought domains. I've had to buy hosting. It's very confusing. So if you're starting your business or you're starting a blog or you need a place to sell your stuff, Squarespace is great for that. It's, it's super simple and there are so many great reviews. I'm actually currently right now making two websites on Squarespace. Both shall be revealed soon. If you already have a domain, it's really simple just to transfer your domain over there. They even have a 24 hour service that you can contact and talk to. That way things can be explained easily to you if you're having a difficult time transferring your domain from another website builder. If you're looking for a bunch of different things for one website, like you want a blog, you need an online store, Squarespace has it all. And I deeply encourage you all, if you are thinking about starting a website, to go sign up and start making it. They are the ones empowering a lot of business websites that you're going to on a daily. If you have a subscription box idea in mind and you want to get it going, think about using Squarespace. Speaking of subscription boxes, I have the new Illumicrate. It's actually not that new, but this is the Starfall box. This is the Court of Rose Thorns and Roses box. Every time I say that title, I get it wrong or I had to think about it. It's so confusing. So this was shipped out in May. I've had it for quite a long time. It ships from Norway. So the shipping can be expensive. They only come out every couple of months, like they're big boxes. The last one I did was for Red Rising. Now if I can only find my scissors, I can get going. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, okay. Oops, 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 oops. Here's the box. Okay, the Starfell edition. It's a little mug. It's one of those tin mugs. Hand wash only. That's an <gasps> Oh, there's art on it. This is Farah Henry Sand. Oh, you betcha. You betcha I'm gonna use this mug. Oh, yeah. It's gonna go perfect with my Resand pillow. A candle. I think this is a Starfell. <gasps> yes, this is Starfell from Two Candle Thieves. Let's smell it. Okay. <laughs> Disappointing. I don't, I can't smell it. It says black tea, musk, rose, and dark fruit. Hopefully it smells good when I light it. Ah! These are beautiful. Oh, did they have like, oh my gosh. 
Oh, I think this is like meant to be the tattoo that Feyre has. It says Illumicrate exclusive. Ooh, this looks like a little notebook. Oh, this is not a notebook. These are all character cards. These are just all beautiful. Free Sam looks wimpy to me. I like Free Sam to look like super muscly, okay? He's just like an incarnation of Henry Cavill in my head. Free Sam is not skinny. He's a massive dude. That's why I like him. Tall, dark, and handsome, big. Charlie Bowater. I think she does all of Sarah's coloring books. This is her art. These are the Inner Circle tarot cards from Mona Line. <gasps> Whoa, we have a scarf. This is so cool. So this is a double-sided scarf. I think it has all the emblems from the courts. So here's the night court. Here's autumn court. The water court? not where's day is that day court winter court um i don't remember all the court where's spring this is so cute the starfell deck this is made exclusively for lumo crate by keeper of the sun here are the cards what is this this is a necklace but i'm really not sure what it is this is reese's wingspan these are his wings it's a necklace <laughs> yep <laughs> it's a necklace that's cute this is from the shop on etsy called mia newcastle starfell court of frost and starlight metal bookmarks and then we have some lip balm put on our truth teller lovely lip balm and you can tell no lies inspired my morgan's red lips in as Real's magic knife. It's not super red. It's probably like quite sheer. It smells kind of floral. We have some pins. Stars Eternal Night Triumphant. Okay, so this is a tote bag. Whoa! This thing's huge. Oh, this is perfect for groceries. Look at this art. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. <laughs> I love stuff like this. Oh, I match it too. To the stars who listen and the dreams that we are answered. This is artwork by Ink and Wonder. So you can go to inkandwonder.com slash au to get the tote. Okay, and then we have the book with a book sleeve on it. Ugh. Here's the book, Where Frost the Starlight. I did not read it. I watched Christine's review instead. Hilarious review. I don't feel like I need to read it, but I have it. <gasps> oh, that's gonna be framed. I mean, oh my gosh. Oh my, <laughs> aren't they beautiful? Can we just, just stare at it? Just for a minute. This is from Sparrow and Wolf. And then last we have a book sleeve. This is the map of the courts. Oh. We have a special note from Sarah J. Ma. It says, thank you so much for reading the Court of Thorns and Roses series. Hope you enjoy A Court of Frost and Starlight. Love, Sarah. Thank you so much to Lumicrate for sending me their box. These big boxes are quite expensive. I think they're almost around 50 bucks. So if you think this is worth it and you like getting all this really cool stuff, check it out. The website down below. We still have three more boxes left. Yep. Yep, we do. Next, we have my own novel box that I got to pick all the books that I wanted to put in it from BookCon. See, Tashopolis. Here are the books that I got. I have Rule by Ellen Goodlett. This is by Little Brown. This is out in September. Three Dark Crowns meets Pretty Little Liars by Dash of King Lear in this sensational, striking new fantasy debut. All these black and red covers are very reminiscent of one another. The War Outside. This is a YA historical novel. It is a stunning novel of conviction, friendship, and betrayal from Monica Hesse, the Edgar Award winning and best-selling author of Girl in the Blue Coat. Oh, it's about a family that they live in Colorado, but they are uprooted and they are taken to the Japanese family internment camp. Yeah. Oh, I have The Wicked King by Holly Black. I read The Cruel Prince during the winter time, I guess. I did really like it. I don't think it is as good as everyone have hyped it up to be but I feel like the second one is gonna be really good and I can't believe Holly Black has already done with this I I really want to read this right away yay a water bottle I have a button that says must love books and then I have the Ellie Blake book fire blood and then I also have booked all week pin that's it for that box this is the quarterly page habit box I am curating I guess it's already done with but I curated the July YA box which is their monthly box this has like a bunch of books in it and it it's curated by an author and also has some cool stuff in it too. Dear reader, I can't wait for you to jump into these pages. This cold foggy world swept me away the moment I started writing and honestly it still hasn't let me go. So we have a page habit bookmark. Ooh, 
I don't have this yet. Oh, this is from Adrienne Young. What's really cool about the Page Habit box is that the author will have their post-its in each of the books and will tell you insider bits. Part Wonder Woman, part Vikings, and all heart. I saw that on Instagram and I'm like, I need to read that, like right now. Ooh, this is really pretty. So this is Tracy Chi, the reader, book one of Sea of Ink and Gold. Look at this cover. It's like metallic-y and like underwater-y. This is a book, you are the reader. Look closer, there's magic here. In Cephia's world, reading is unheard of. But everything changes when she finds the book. It is the one thing that can save her. It is the one thing that can destroy her. Whoa, look at this map. Oh, this is I Catch the Castle. I just added the movie adaptation to my playlist because I realized that Henry Cavill was in it and I'm like, I love Henry Cavill and I need to watch it, but I do already have this. So this is gonna go in my giveaway pile. This is a classic it's a beautiful uh, Wednesday books edition what is this this is a stacking tin I'm sure this all has to do with Adrian Young's book oh it's like a little like lunch thing and it looks like a tree thing cute whoa whoa this is a dagger pin <gasps> Look how cool this is. Does this main character have like a god killer sword? Oh my gosh. That's cool. Ugh, crinkle crap. And then we have a tote. I don't understand what's on this tote. At last, we have a book. A box full of books. This is from Simon and Schuster. Okay, so these are all their upcoming books. Oh, some of these I already have. Dear reader, these four novels have different flavors of every kind of reader, but they have all one thing in common. They'll leave you wanting more. You won't have to wait too long to go back for seconds for the action-packed sequels this fall. The Diabolic, which I already have. This is by S.J. Kincaid. We have this Mortal Coil, which actually I don't own this. If you're reading this, it means I am dead. Have completed a Hydra vaccine. Our last chance at survival, you must decrypt it. Never let them take you. Uh, Amy Coffin says, this mortal quill defines unputdownable, a thrilling, exhilarating read that's crackling with intelligence. This is brilliant science fiction. <gasps> science fiction. I love science fiction. Actually, science fiction is my favorite genre next to contemporary romance. If you guys have read The Mortal Coil, let me know your thoughts. The Last Magician. Oh, I think this was a Peru's Utopia Book of the Month. This is by Lisa Maxwell. I think this is a fantasy. Zenda Williams Chima says, This twisty tale of alchemy and magic in Gilded Age New York will keep you guessing until the very last page. This is a quite the hefty novel. And then we have The Becoming of Noah Shaw, which I think, is this the last book in the Mara Dyer series? I think they gave me the first books in all of the series that are coming out with a sequel this fall. So this Mortal Coil book two, this cruel design is out on October 30th. Book two of The Reckoning of Noah Shaw comes out on November 13th. Devil Thief comes out October 9th. And then The Empress is available now. Thank you all for watching this video. I'm Natasha. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this. Don't forget to get 10% off your domains and website with squarespace.com slash Natasha. I hope you enjoyed the return of the fandom and bookish unboxings. I'm Natasha. I'll see you on the future. Keep calm and fangirl on. Bye!